I'm back with a Blu-ray and DVD update. A uh, couple of things on the news front. Their Shout Factory is coming out with a five-box, five-disc set of Nashi films in um, April, I think. This includes uh, Night of the Werewolf, Human Beast, Vengeance of the Zombies. Uh, it, it looks pretty interesting. I mean, I'll, if you're a Nashi fan, I'm a big Nashi fan. That should be great. I'd, I'd noticed on the Shout website there's not too much noise special features, but they do say all the films are the uncut version. So good to see that's coming out. And then uh, Mondo Macabro is coming out with... Uh, Count two Jess Franco films on Blu-ray, Countess Perverse, the uncut version, and How to Seduce a Virgin. So that's I think that, that definitely is coming out in April. So two bits of news there. I do have some more pickups. <clears throat> First up, let's see. Jess Franco film, how about that? Macumba Sexual. Never seen it have no idea, but uh, I'm definitely going to watch it from a Franco Fest, Franco Fridays, eventually. I had to get the popcorn thing. I mean, so here's the popcorn steel book. Way too much money on it. For, I think it was 45 bucks. Yes. Crazy. It's not that good a film, but Pretty nice looking uh, steel book. Yeah. Franco, the bloody judge. I've seen this multiple times, Christopher Lee, but I've never spent, to, I've never bought the Blu ray, so I had to go ahead and pick that up. Here's another Franco film, Succubus. I tell you, some of these need, uh, this is a Blue Underground, These all these need a Blu-ray release, and I guess eventually they will, but I just can't wait. Here's a double feature from Franco, a Red Lips double feature. Kiss Me Monster is on, I mean, I got it for Kiss Me Monster. This is another Blue Underground release. Looks pretty good. I uh, went ahead and double dipped after listening to Seth's little update on uh, a review, rather, of Slaughterhouse. I went ahead and picked this up. This is chopped full of special features. So it'll be interesting to compare it to the 88 films release. Then I got another Jess Franco update. This is... Uh, Another double feature, but this is on Blu-ray. This is Silence of the Tomb, and then The Sinister Eyes of Dr. Orloff. Blue Underground. I, I bought all these from uh, Diabolic. Hands of Steel, 88 films. This looks like a fun... I've never seen this one either, Hands of Steel. This is from the Italian Collection. And then I bought some Roger Corman. These kind of fell in pricing, so I went and picked them up, mainly because I didn't want to pay all the money for the Blu-ray without the special features. It didn't seem like I had that much of special features. But anyway, I bought the Time Walker, uh, Velvet Vampire, and it also has Lady Frank. I must have eight copies of Lady Frankenstein, but yeah. I mainly bought it for Time Walker. And then I bought this uh, Roger Corman double feature. Uh, this looks like the uh, some Mad Max ripoffs. Death Sport and Battle Truck. Death Sport and Battle Truck. And finally, the first thing I've added to my collection in this area, uh, Buster Keaton. And this box set was like, from Kino, was really really inexpensive I mean so I went ahead and picked this thing up this has got mainly all his all the main films that he's done the general uh, 
Yeah, so Buster Keaton, Steamboat Bill. Yes, yeah, so that's the Buster Keaton set. I got this off of Amazon. Okay, well, that'll do it for my quick and brief update. Appreciate you watching. Thanks.